We're here with the host of the show for the next couple of days, Charlie Fiordalis. He's the managing partner for Mediacom. We're going to ask him a few questions. So, Charlie, how many VMA events have you been to, including both their mobile nomics and video nomics? Uh, I've been to five, and I think the thing that keeps me coming back is that I, I have two jobs. One is making sure that we have flawless execution uh, across a hundred plus person team. And that's really hard because I, I can't, you know, that level of oversight means that I would need to write everyone's email and do all their jobs. I can't do that and I don't want to do that. The other half of my job is inspiring clients, inspiring my team, setting an agenda for them that charts a path towards the future that is uh, transformative. And I've found at these events that I come away with more actionable things that fuel that innovation agenda than any other type of event I go to. How is first mobile marketing going to evolve over the next two years? And how do you, running your agency, evolve ahead of it or with it to provide the best solutions for your clients? Mobile right now, let's talk about how long two years is in mobile. Crazy. It, it, it might be. Crazy. 20 years. Right. So I think what's going to happen in the next two years is that we're going to be forced to give up the notions that we currently hold true about what mobile is. And we are going to have to either react um, reactively or creatively about that. And I think our biggest challenge right now is to anticipate what's going to happen and prepare for that for our clients. Mobile is not your phone. Mobile is a mindset. Mobile is not a single device. Mobile is the fact that we are now moving between devices and mindsets at a pace that is determined entirely by the consumer, not by sitting in front of the television from 8 to 10 p.m. at night. Mm -hmm. The thing that keeps me up the most at night is uh, the fact that our measurement systems haven't really caught up with the fragmentation of consumer behavior and devices. And th that means that it's very difficult for us to build accountable systems that have the most impact for our clients. We spend five hours a day on our phone now. I think 71% of all our digital marketing time, so our digital time, so it's crazy how much it's consuming. What app on your phone can you not live without? Let's take email off immediately. Yeah. Of course I couldn't live without email. Yeah. When my kids ask me what I do for a living, the most honest answer I could probably say is I send email <laughs> to people for a living. Uh -huh. uh, but beyond that, uh, I couldn't live without Facebook. Mm -hmm. When people talk about the demise of Facebook and how much mm -hmm. it's shrinking, I just don't, I, I, it's not the case. I like the ability to share my experiences with my friends mm -hmm. and to share their experiences in a way that feels like we're all together living mm -hmm. our lives as a, a communal group. In Facebook, you're able to get someone on every device because they log in from every device. That, that is the key thing, because then the content they consume on those devices, and it's on Facebook, but it's also on things that you sign into via Facebook, because Facebook is a common login device to be able to you know, get a view into that. We're able to identify everything about a consumer and to have a thoughtful interaction with them where uh, we're not wasting their time. We're, we're moving from a, a position where we're advertising to them position where they're advising, which is one of my life goals, uh, which also could be articulated as uh, having my children not be ashamed that I work in advertising, having them be proud that, that I work in something that because, helps serve people yeah. and not annoys them. Charlie Fiora Dallas is going to help advertising make people's lives better. Is that right? That's what we're doing.